In this lesson, we're going to look at comparing decimal numbers, figuring out uh, given two numbers, which one's bigger, which one's smaller, um, or perhaps they're equal. So um, the strategy that the book gives, and I think is a good strategy, is to take uh, the numbers and stack them on top of each other, lining up place values and decimal points. And then starting at the left, we're going to compare each value one by one until you reach one that's not the same. And then finally, once you get to that place value, the number with the larger digit is larger. So uh, let's do that with these first two, 7.5182 and then 7.5099. So in the ones place, they're the same. In the tenths place, they're the same. And in the hundredths place, that's the first spot that they're different. And in that place value, 7.5182 has the bigger, uh, the bigger digit. So therefore, we can say that it is the bigger number. Notice it doesn't matter that the, for the next two digits, um, the other number has the larger digit. That doesn't matter at all. We only look at the very first place value in which they differ when you're going from left to right. Uh, we can do a similar thing here. We have 5.006 and then 5.0006. So they're the same here, they're the same here, they're the same here. They first differ in the thousandths place and obviously 6 is bigger than 0. And so 5.006 is a bigger number than 5.0006. And then lastly, this is uh, where I think it becomes perhaps a little harder for our brain, is we look at these two numbers and your first inclination might be to say that this one is actually larger because, you know, 782 is larger than 82. Okay, but in reality, if what we have here is 782 thousandths, right? And so if you wanted to say this as thousandths, you could say 10 and 820 thousandths, okay? Another way to think of the reason that this number is larger is since this in the, ends in the hundredths place, the fraction that goes with this decimal would be 82 over 100, right? Where this one would be 782 over 1,000. Now if I give you the chance, would you like to get 82 points out of 100 on a 100 point test, or would you rather have 782 points out of 1,000 on a 1,000 point test? I think you would clearly choose the 82 out of 100, right? You understand that that's better. And also using the same strategy we did in the previous two, lining up place values and following those rules, the first place these differs in the tenths place, and the 8 is bigger than the 7. So 10.82 is definitely bigger than 10.782.